Part is our prepare speech session. Uh, today we have three uh, speakers to deliver their speech. The first speaker is uh, Charles. Okay, or this uh, this is a big moment because this is uh, uh, his she wants this. So everyone give Charles a big pause. So I asked Charles the same question. Uh, he said he ran a coffee store where they meet the they, they meet first time. And uh, then, then he invited their friend to join the project. And the uh, life, uh, life of uh, music is on, on and uh, he played the guitar. And uh, Nick Nick uh, Nick Dan, and 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 the, he he make a very unforgettable proposal. Oh, well. So let's welcome Charlie. Do or never? Something you don't do that now, you will never do that later. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Charles. I come from Kaohsiung and I have been Toastmaster for five years. My mother club is KDC and then KDC covered me for years. There are always a bunch of joy in the regular meeting, just like a Nehu Super Humorous Club did. <laughs> so I'm glad to be one of you for preceding my Toastmaster career. Today, uh, I will talk a little bit about my, my background. I graduated from the NDNC, National Defense Medical Center. My major is Public Health and Emergent Rescue. Um, right now, I'm working in the Navy headquarters and in charge of some health engagement between Taiwan and the United States. When I talk about hobbies, I think it's uncountable. From traveling to skating, from burning dancing to scuba diving. <laughs> because of that, so I have a scholarship to have shortened training in Panama City, in Florida. And then it talks about diving medicine. So the common disease is DCS, which happens usually in occupational divers. So we learn how to diagnose and then to give them the further treatment. And then right now, um, I want to share some story. It's about dream. Since I'm little, I was too shy to make friends. Usually, um, keep away from people and have a stage fright. Let alone study abroad or traveling overseas. Until one theme, this one, Island Etude. This is a slogan influencing me a lot. That is do or never. Something you didn't do that right now, you won't do that anymore. The actors who is a deaf take risks of traveling himself all around Taiwan by bike. And then this just not just the fulfillment, but a brave and love story. Since that I made a decision. So I made my mind, I pick up um, a spot for getting start. That's this Africa. So ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to the Africa, what purpose in your mind? Probably malaria, poor people, <laughs> or even AIDS. It does, it's a chimpanzee, yeah, of course. It does exist. But for me, it's unforgettable Kilimanjaro and African time. Kilimanjaro, the top seven mountains in the world, 
it's always snow with snow with um, on the peak throughout the years. In the beginning, we thought of um, confidence, but however, it's over six thousand meter high, and five days climbing did torture us undoubtedly. And acute mountain syndrome do harm to me with, without any precaution. On the fourth days, we almost reached 5,000 meter high. I feel so sick. I suffer from nausea, severe headache, even um, non-stop diarrhea. I tried to overcome the sickness, but my body surrendered. So the guide decided to send us back to the ground. At the moment, I'm so sad. I'm so sorry for my friends because we can reach the top. But they just told me, sometimes we should leave some peace so that we can have a second chance to visit. At the moment, my tears web up in my eyes. And at the moment, I realized that some travel is not just for a destination, but live strongly and experience the moment God wants to give you is more important. The next episode is African time. One day, we ran a van to Murandava in Madagascar. All of a sudden, the car engine broke out. And what more worse, there's no any professional technician on the small village. So only one African agent tried to fix it. But after six hours, no any further progress. So it's so-called African time. Always no, no efficiency and late attendance. So on that day, we stuck totally in the small village with no any light and electricity at all. In the beginning, we were very angry about this. But the African agent tried her best without any break to fix it. I feel so touched. In the moment, we notice a drawing on the wall. The clock shows 14 o'clock per day, which is longer two hours than us. So at the moment, I realized that it's the true meaning of the African time. It not only teaches us to slow down the pace, but experience the gathering moments from your deep heart with your beloved. Do or never. Do it now, otherwise you never know what the word big it is. Do or never. Do your best, you never know how good you are. Do or never. Do the right thing, also do the thing right. You never forget the glorious moment you achieve. Again, I'm Charles. Since a shiny boy um, turned out to be an energetic one, he conquered the stage fright, and today it works to you for sharing the story about brave, love, and dreams. And then embrace very stronger and very powerful words. Today, they want to send to you as a Christmas gift. That is, do or never. Thank you, Joseph Master.